Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on IFSL, Ideal Financial Solutions Incorporated. Before I get started, I would like to note to please check my IRP disclaimer. And before we even hop into the chart, I want to pull up something right now. Uh, this was the news release that they just uh, put out uh, after hours. And uh, the key thing to point out here is they announced uh, profits uh, in their third quarter of 2.4 million. Um, and keep in mind, that's profit, not revenue. Uh, so the reason I want to point this out is the chart setups uh, taking place as a, a possible breakout. And then when you get this news sort of news, you know, after hours, it really kind of adds to the case of, you know, the likelihood that we could be seeing a breakout here. Obviously, there's no guarantees, but when you combine the fact that the chart's sitting right next to a breakout level and then you get a news release like this, uh, you know, the, the probabilities and likelihood, uh, you know, do increase. So I'd encourage you to check out this press release. Uh, like I said, they just put it out after hours uh, announcing their uh, Q3 numbers, and they did post a profit right here of, you know, 2.4 uh, million. So let's get back to the chart here, and here you can see it. Like I'd mentioned, we're looking at a possible breakout here, and the breakout level that we are need to keep our eyes on is this purple line right here which is the 50-day simple moving average and that is valued at 45 cents uh, so for you breakout players that's going to be the key level the other thing to note is that we've got some volume down here uh, that has been above average and uh, more so it's even consistent uh, compared to what it's been you know there's been some other bigger volume days in the past but there hasn't really been any consistency to it but here you can see over the past four days uh, basically all the exact same uh, this one was a little bit less but still uh, you know, we've been seeing this increase here, and it's uh, remained as an increase, not just a one-day wonder or anything like that. So, uh, you know, volume's always something you want to keep your eyes on, too. Now, back to the 50-day here, uh, being the key breakout level. Uh, the reason that's so important is, you know, after this level, the resistance levels really begin to thin out, uh, which, uh, you know, which tells us that, you know, the price could really get moving pretty quickly, uh, you know, with the right uh, recipe of, you know, big volume coming in and all that. So, uh, with a break of 45, where is the next level of resistance? Well, if we go up here, we can see that uh, multiple times uh, back here, you know, the price tried to get above this level here. And we'll just call that, I think it's technically 54 and a half cents. We'll just call it 55 to make it easy. So that'll be the first level of uh, resistance that, you know, we'll want to keep our eyes out for. Uh, and then after that, the next level of resistance jumps all the way up here. To 70 cents which is the previous high when the price made its last big move I want to make that line extra thick because this is a, a key level of resistance and in fact uh, really I'd call that the breakout or the blue sky breakout level as you can see scrunching up the chart here uh, there's essentially no other previous uh, resistance level so 70 cents is going to be the blue sky breakout level um, where if the price can get above that, then really you just kind of got to use your gut instincts because you can't really rely on the chart since it's, you know, in blue sky territory, you know, areas where it hasn't been. So, um, you know, like I said, resistance levels really begin to thin out. You know, we've got a nice little profit window between this area here. And then if uh, this level falls and when you're not looking until 70 cents, you know, that's another big space right there. So, um, and then, like I said, going back to that news, um, it's at least worth putting on your radar. There's no such thing as a guarantee, but uh, you know that's about when you get uh, numbers posting profit and all that stuff. Uh, you know the chart should definitely go up towards the top of your watch list. Um, and then support-wise, really just two levels that I see. One being right here at the 30 cent level. You can see that multiple times the bears have tried to press it down below there, but it's held every single time. And then for the longer-term players. We have the 50, or excuse me, 200-day simple moving average, which has provided support multiple times too. So these are going to be the two levels of support. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. But if not, again, go check out that press release. And this was IFSL, Ideal Financial Solutions Incorporated. Thanks for listening.